Welcome back everybody Hello. to Let's Do Our 30s. Prince back. I am back. I am back. Back in my element. <laughs> and in this capacity, as you can see here, he is the bartender. bartender. Why'd you want to be a bartender? Uh, I was bored. Um, and I went to Maryland Bartender School and I learned some new tricks. Learned a lot about alcohol. I always made drinks for parties and stuff like that. So Always. Hey. So I figured I hey, might as well learn how to do it, you know, professionally. So I am a professional licensed bartender. I have my license. I will show it to you. I'll show it to you later. If you couldn't guess, we are talking about St. Patrick's Day. We love the party. Yes, yes, ma'am. Never turn down a party. But you know when you're throwing a party at home, don't, like you spend a lot of money on liquor. I mean it's all for fun and games, but at the same time, it's ways to be cost efficient. When you make half and halves, like you go through it so much faster and everyone's just like pouring so much in their cup people get like way too drunk and we're 30 we need to be classy and that hangover or that next day not the hangover <laughs> it takes two or three days now after you turn the three day over yeah that, that definitely it's real so we are going to show you some drinks that you can make that are super easy that are not half and half so you definitely will be able to sip and be classy and feel fancy and be more cost effective. Today we are going to use three types of liquor. We have a rum, we have a vodka, and we have a brandy. Everything else we have liqueurs. We have strawberry liqueur, great, uh, puckers, melon puckers, we got blue, caracal. Caracal, I can never say that. <laughs> caracal, blue caracal, it tastes like orange. It's blue, but it tastes- It makes no sense. Like orange. We also have our own bottle, since we're married, we invested in our own company. Braves, <laughs> this is cream. We also have creme de menthe. This is mint, it tastes like mint, and turn all the drinks green. So that's Which it. is what we're going for because it is St. Patrick's Day. And that's clutch. And all we know, pineapple, we got some chasers, we got some coke, we got some ice. We got a lot. Uh, just remember, moderation. Everything you do, right here, moderation. Be responsible, don't drink and drive. Exactly. Uber, Lyft, Metro. Sleep on the couch. Call, and you stay over. So how much was all of this, like at the liquor store, how much was uh, I paid $72 okay. for all this. In Washington, D.C., $72 would probably only get you three drinks right. and a beer. We're going to do two cocktails, two shots, and a punch. All right, so we're going to get started. I'm 35. What does that have to do? Grown man. <laughs> and so your beer is growing a beer? Beer okay. game. All right, so we're going to get started game. with the first drink. When we have a party, we, and you're invited. You're always invited. Always. Just know that the initiating drink will be a shot. Not a straight, hardcore shot, but something nice. Just Choose to get, wisely. Get the blood flowing. Get Choose blood wisely. Flowing. So the first one, we're going to call this the Melon Ball Shooter. Also known as the MVP. You need to remember it. The MVP. All right, so we have melon, it's the M. 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 We have V for the vodka. Bam. And we have P, pineapple juice. That's easy. All right, it's the MVP shooter, so always get your ice. And a shooter, is that the same as a shot? Okay. Shooter is a shot. It's a four count. Half an ounce of uh, melon puckers, so it's four count though. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And, and then like a little splash of pineapple? No, it's gonna be the same. A four hour. But it's, we're pouring it in, so it's a little different. So it's one, two, three, four. All right? There we go. Can you do that? Can you stir that up for me? Ooh, I have a job. And by the way, if you're looking at those pours and thinking like, I don't have that kind of stuff, Go on Amazon. We're not paid by Amazon, by the way, so just this is just a helpful hint. Hint. Go on Amazon. They're super cheap. They have a pack of like I think forty or something for maybe like ten or fifteen dollars, and you can just obviously use them as a bottle. So. Up, baby. I'll put out three just in case we have some overage, but I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna go here. Can you get the pour? Uh huh. And then, I mean, look, you still basically still have your whole entire bottle of vodka left. 
So obviously this is a good saver. And bam, St. Patrick's Day, they're and green. It's, and it's green. So All right. remember, MVP. Who's your MVP? Uh, my mom. What about me? Hey, mom. <laughs> You're my MVP, honey. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, mom. I got All married, right. so I got to change the woman in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we're still in the shooter family. This is the second one. It's a shooter, it's a shot. But this one here is called Sex on the Beach. What is that? It's my sex on the beach. It's my sex on the beach dance. Oh, that's a new one. We're going with the melon. Okay. Uh, you can have the Midori. Midori, M-I-D-I-O-R, something like that. The Midori. <laughs> M-I-D-O-R-I, Midori. This is the substitute. You got the vodka. And we, we don't want to use Chambord. Chambord. So we got strawberry puckers. Why didn't we want to use Chambord? Because they didn't have it at the liquor store. And I don't really like raspberry. So we're going to go with strawberry. So All you right? can change it up a little bit if you want to. All right, strawberry and... Pineapple juice, right? Bam. So you're gonna get a half an ounce of each ingredient and you're gonna pour it into. Well, let's do it. Do it. We got a, we're gonna do a four count because we're making two drinks for two people, two shots. Alright? Two. What's your face? Oh. One, two, three, four. One because it's red. One, two, three, four. Now this one isn't green, but that's okay, because you already got one, one green one. One, two, three, four. Now remember, it's so this, colorful and pretty. This is a shot. Shake it up. Shake it up. Remember, a glass goes to the back. Glass goes to the back. To the back. Pop it off. Boom. Boom. It's a shot now. So you shoot these. Come out even, both sides. See, I poured all that liquor in there, and it's a shot. Now, if we're keeping score, we've done five shots, and would you look at that? Look at that. It's still a lot in there, so you're definitely being kind to your party budget by taking some extra time and actually, you know, making the drinks. Now we're into the cocktail family and we're starting with a brandy drink. If you're down with the brown, I don't really get along with brown that well. I do. You can get any brandy. That's a lot of brandies out there. Any vodka there. too. No, I'm saying with the brown. Oh. For this drink specifically. Oh. The brandy, this is a brandy's drink. Um, I mean, E&J. It's a go-to brandy, Christian Brothers brandy. We're also going to use the cream, uh, cream de mint. It tastes like mint. This is a mint, all right? So you got mint and you got a brandy. It's a six count. It's one and a half ounces of brandy and then one ounce of uh, cream de mint. And this is the bad guy. It's, yeah, bad guy. B for brandy. G, the guy for the green cream de mint. Easy right. to remember. Bad guy. It's the six count for the brandy mm -hmm. and a two count for the creme de mint. So this is a strong drink. In a rock glass. Yeah, in a so, rock glass. So you don't want to take time with this one. This is a bad guy. It makes you feel like a tough guy. It's a bad guy. <laughs> a tough guy. So this is, this or is, gal. Or gal. Bad gal. This is, is a two ingredient drink. Ice already in the cup. All right. All right. So like I said, if you want to go two hands, you can go two hands. You got to know you're doing two here, six here. So watch your face, baby. Oh. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. And it's a bad guy. And green. It's green. We're really sticking with the stink here. So put a straw in there. Brandy. It is a green St. Patrick's Day. You know. Yeah. Well, please. Well, please. And, and it. Woo. It's strong. That's a bad. That's a bad guy. It's drink. a strong drink. <laughs> As you can see, it's no brown. You can't even see the brown in there. Right. Way. So it's definitely festive. It's time for the bath hopper. Hey. Why are you guys doing stuff behind me? I'm sorry. This is a serious show. This is very serious. About 30 year old life or problems. So you have to, fun, have to have fun with it. Exactly. You have to have Let fun. that stress go. This is the grasshopper. 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 Is it? That's what that movie, right? I don't know. 
So the grasshopper is usually uh, vodka, mm -hmm. cream, mm -hmm. and a clear creme de cacao, which is a uh, chocolate taste. But we're gonna make a substitute. We're gonna make a little switch because it's St. Patrick's Day themed, and we like to go green. We're going green. Well, that rhymes. Oh my god, I'm right. I got bars. And you can use any kind of vodka you want, right? Yeah, I've seen this vodka. Um, it's a new vodka. Uh, I think it says media. Yeah. And it says it's a play button, push play. It's a cool bottle, nice little design. Uh, it doesn't taste bad at all, so it's pretty good. It was top, it was almost top shelf, so don't judge me. It's not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap rock. But you can use anything as I guess just as long as it's not flavored, right? Correct, because it takes away from the taste for the mint and the cream or the chocolate and the cream. And the good thing is because you're mixing them, as long as it's not like super cheap, then you don't have to worry about like getting like top 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 shelf because you're mixing it up anyway. Yeah, you're mixing it up anyway, and like I said, it's always the same effect. Let's get to the drink. Uh we're gonna be. This is a this is a nice rock size glass. So I'm gonna go one at a time. By the way, these glasses are from IKEA. If you're trying to get your little party swag up, what were these like? Fifty cents each. I have no. So clue. check out the sales section at IKEA if you're looking for bar glassware that you don't have to worry about. You know, people Spilling, drinking, drinking, spilling drinking. exactly. Fifty cents each. Beautiful glasses. IKEA. They're not paying us either. Ain't nobody paying us. This is all free game. Half ounce vodka, half ounce cream. Man, two ounces, two ounces of cream. All right. It's a big drink. All right. You do it. Oh. <laughs> all right. So two count. Two. Two count. Two. It looks a lot cooler when you do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo, baby. Okay. You're gonna shake it? I'm gonna shake it. No, no, no. Glass goes to the back, so you pour it in. See, I'm not the best bartender here. Pour it in. You do it like that. Shake, shake, shake. 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 Shake, shake, uh, shake, 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 Right there. Oh, like that. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Man, just call me bartender. Superstar tender. And it's green. And it's green. So that was super easy to make. We were still the vodka. How many vodka drinks have we made? We've made two vodka shots. And we made four vodka shots. We made four vodka shots. Actually, no, we made five. Five vodka shots. We made five vodka shots. We made a vodka cocktail, and we just made this, and we're not even halfway through. L listen, listen. Just give us all the awards, okay? Come listen, on, dog. you have your party, send us pictures, send us hey, a thank dog. you note, invite us. Hey, dog. That's the, that's the best thank you. Just invite Tell us. Tell dog. But lastly, we're gonna do a punch because. It's good to have a drink that people can serve themselves without you having to mix it up for them. So a punch is great for that because people can help themselves. So I've got this great little punch dispenser. This was also from Amazon. I don't know, but we have a lot of stuff from Amazon. We do, we have Amazon. <laughs> so, um, so this one is great because it has like a little ice cream down here. You can put cold. it in to keep the punch cold. And it also has like a nice thing here that whenever you're done making your punch, you can put here. And then this piece on the top, you can stack your cups on top of. So you can actually have cups on this holder so that you don't have to give people cups, nothing. Everything's there. And it also has a little divider. So let me get closer. So you can put your cups on this part. And then this divider, if you have like cherries or oranges or some kind of garnish for the punch, you can put those on there too so everyone can kind of serve themselves. You're so knowledgeable, honey. Oh my God. Uh, you know, I know some things. And it also has a dispenser here so you can, you know, easily get your punch on. 
Okay, so back to you. All right, so we're gonna make the blue a wine. Punch. Punch. Yeah. Really beautiful people smile brightly. So that means our ingredients for our drink. Really beautiful people smile brightly. The really is the R. We have the rum. Ow. Beautiful. It's the blue caracal. Hey. Boom. And remember, this tastes like orange. It's blue, but it tastes like That's orange. Why? I don't know. We see the orange on there. But but no one looks at that, and it's confusing. People is the P for pineapple juice. Pineapple. Smile. Sprite. Sprite. And brightly. Because we put it all together. All right, all right. So we we forgot one, but we're back because brightly is. You top it off with the blue caracal. Going back to that. So rum. Really beautiful people smile brightly. brightly. First ingredient. Then rum. The, uh, the rum. Rum is my favorite. You know. We went to Puerto Rico, uh, and they had their um, Bacardi factory. Yes. And but this right here, Bacardi. Really good, it was cheap, no hangovers. No hangovers. And Ron El Barlito rum. That rum was yes, bomb. Yes. Yes. So we, we've been we've been buying bottles. We have it down. We there. usually have a, a bottle of Bacardi around. Alright, so hey. If you come over to come on over, have a Bacardi and Coke with us. The rum. Ooh. Now we're obviously not going to fill this all the way up because this is just for illustrative purposes. We're not having a party like tonight, but you know, obviously you use more. So if you were making this punch for a party, you use the whole bottle. I use the whole bottle. Okay, whole bottle. Two bottles. Two bottles. How much pineapple juice would you use for a whole thing? I want to use this whole thing. Okay. So for like a bigger batch, you probably use two bottles. Yeah, I'm gonna use three. Okay. So for y'all, I'm gonna use two. Two. Yeah. Two bottles. 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 Flash warning. This may be a little more spray if you're gonna just drink. And if you drink out the bottle, do not pour it in the punch. That's nasty. Drink Sprite. Ron James. Okay. And how much of this are we using? You're watching see, baby. Watch me make magic. Now if you were making a big batch of this, how much of that would you need to use? Uh, it just depends on how much orange you want to taste. You can do a little taste test there if you so want. So you might want to like stir it up, test. Stir, see stir it up, test. Good. Well, look at that. You see what color it turned? It's blue. It's like a blue green. It's like aquamarine. It should be the aquamarine Hawaiian. So you want me to turn it green? Oh. Turn it green. Turn it green. I'll put more. Pineapple. So if it's not as green as you want it to be, just add pineapple juice. And blue And blue again. and play around with one little. Oh, let's see if it makes it look. That's the top, but also not funny thing. Okay. Well, it's green-ish. It's green from this angle. I don't know where you're gonna do it from. It is green. That looks green on the camera. Oh, it is green. I hope you enjoyed. What is that? It's my stir. Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoy stepping into our home bar with Bartender Prince. Hey, that's my name, that's what I try to do. I mean, I like to make drinks for people. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I have been licensed to bartend. I have a card. I am a licensed official. bartender. I am officially official, a bartender. Official. I in the state of Maryland. And I do parties, I miss birthdays. Since when? Um, please book me. <laughs> You know what? Wait, Phone numbers on the bio. Bio. Get out of here. The whole purpose of this video was obviously to help you. <laughs> the whole purpose of this video was obviously to help you host a party if you if you do drink and not have to spend a ton of money on your bar. And if you don't drink, you can make those same drinks without alcohol. You can substitute a lot of the ingredient alcohol ingredients with you know regular everyday drinks. Um, we might do that next time for those of you who do not drink. Like Let us know if you want us to do that. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you can share your best money saving party hosting tips in the comments, we'd love to hear from y'all because we like to save some cash. Yes, ma'am. Uh, please, please, please be sure to subscribe. There's new videos every Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. I don't know if he's gonna be here. I'll be here. Um, it depends on what the show is about. Um, if this has anything to do with makeup and hair, 
I won't be here. Why not? If it's about my beer, I'll be here. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye.